happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. Uh, in out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Ready Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Jason RD218 Pro. Can't forget the Pro part. <laughs> this is an AM FM portable alarm clock radio. Emphasis on alarm clock radio. Uh, so yeah, I got this off Amazon. It was like 20 bucks, and I saw it had a dollar coupon. I'd never seen it before, so I figured, man, eh, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. So here it is. Oh, here's the box. FM AM 2 band. Alarm clock radio. It's the big thing. We'll talk about all that. Model number. Picture of the radio. DSP control. Yep, DSP radio. Figured that. All right. I got some information on the back. Pretty much showing you some of the details and functions of the item. There you go. You can pause and read if you have to. Let's see. Collect your favorite radio shows and get in quickly. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? <laughs> I was reading the manual, and uh, the the uh, Chinese to English translation was pretty rough. Um, but there we go. Took everything out of the box because this thing was packed full. I'll show you what we get. So in the box, we get a pair of headphones. Yeah. Um, these look really cheap. <laughs> this looks like this would hurt your ear if you put it in there. Um, I want to pass probably using these, but if you ever need some extra wire, you got some extra wire. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look too great. But, hey, look at this. A nice little bag. Cool. It's got a nice lining in there. That's not bad to see. Cool. Next, we got the wonderful instructions I told you about. <laughs> RD218 Pro. Sing it with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to kind of flash the manual here. If you need to view anything, just pause it. It's pretty basic. Um, and if you... Want to have fun, read some of the text. <laughs> it's pretty great. The able to do this just for posterity in case I miss something. Yeah, look at this wonderful paragraph. Huge section all about setting the alarm. <laughs> we'll talk about that too. Okay, here we go. Specification. I always like to look at that. Uh, let's see. There's our FM 87 to 108 medium wave. The AM is 520 to 1710. If you look there, you got pre presets. You got 50 on each channel or band. Runs on two AA batteries, but I'll show you. Speaker. Okay, so there you go. Throw it off to the side. Let's get to the radio. Comes in a little plastic tray. Let's pop that out of there. Set that aside. And a little sleeve here. All right, there it is. Now, I've reviewed a few of these radios. Um, they made a uh, RD206, uh, <laughs> calling it the original. Beware of counterfeits. <laughs> That's a fun one. Um, plus, I think they've done a couple other ones, uh, like a 2D battery radio or something like that. But uh, here we go. So let's go dimensions real quick. We have two and three quarter inches across, four and seven eighths of an inch high, almost five inches tall, and a case depth of almost an inch, seven eighths of an inch. So there you are. It's kind of a bigger radio. Um, in this day and age, to see a bigger radio like this is kind of interesting. I am pretty surprised. So let's do a size comparison. You can see that difference. Here's a CC Pocket. And you can kind of see the CC Pocket's got about the same width, but this radio here definitely has a little size on it. Okay. And then we have the Skywave. Yeah, it's like longer or almost, yeah, as long as as long as the Skywave there. Yep. Just a little thinner. All right. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. Yeah, rock it down. <laughs> Deck of cards. Give you an idea. How big this radio is compared to that. All right. So let's get to the features of the Jason. I think I'm saying that right. It took me a long time to figure out how to say that. <laughs> yeah, it could be said a bunch of different ways for sure. So features, let's go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Since that box was a little longer. All right. Up the side of the radio, we have volume control. I know this is a digital volume. I'll explain that when we talk about the alarms feature. But uh, yeah, it has a... Analog wheel, but it's definitely a digital volume control. Even though it doesn't show it digital, it kind of acts like it. You can kind of hear it stepping with headphones. Okay, in front of the radio, we have the name. We have an LCD. You notice it has a 12-hour clock there, which is pretty handy because this is an alarm clock radio. We have a battery level indicator there. It's four bars of 
segmented use. They say that uh, they'll go down over time with your batteries. On the front, we have a bunch of buttons. Uh, first button here is your power button. It also toggles your bands FM to AM. Next, we have three uh, quick presets we can go to. Uh, your favorite three on FM and your favorite three on AM. Here we have a preset mode, which you pretty much just press and hold, and it starts an auto scan on FM or AM. And of course, you get 50 presets on AM and FM. You just can't control manually what they are. They're just automatic. Over here, we have a light switch. Press that, and it runs about five seconds before it goes off. And if you press and hold this, a little lock icon will show that the radio is locked down. So if you're carrying this, you don't have to worry about the, hitting the buttons and turning it off. So there we are. Now we have a SL slash AL set. So this is your alarm set feature, of course, and your sleep function. So you use this to adjust your sleep and, of course, to set the alarm. Now this has two alarm modes. It has one wake by buzzer or wake by radio. The interesting thing about this uh, is when you're setting this, you can set the intensity of the volume. And I set it, I tested the alarm. It's got a weird beeping sound. And I tested the radio. And when you set it, like, say, five or six, it starts at five or six, and while it's, the alarm's going, you can't adjust the volume with the side here. So it's definitely digitally controlled, which I think is pretty nice. So you can wake up to a quieter alarm or a louder alarm. It doesn't matter where you're set here, and especially on radio too. So you can set the radio to be louder or quieter, and you don't have to worry about your last setting on the wheel there. So I like that. That was pretty neat for a small pocket radio to have that kind of feature. Uh, of course, time set button, set your time, up and down for presets, and of course, changing the hour minutes while you're setting your alarm and your clock. Okay, down here we have a speaker behind a pl plastic speaker grill. It's about a two inch speaker, 50 millimeters. Over on this side here, we have a tuning wheel. And that's very important because the only way to use this radio is to tune it on this wheel. That's it, um, or use the preset buttons. It's the only way to tune the radio. So you'll find yourself using the tuning wheel quite often. Uh, bottom of the radio is nice and flat, so it should stand. I didn't test that, but there we go. Uh, the antenna here. It extends out to a whopping, <laughs> it's all on frame. I love it, eight inch antenna. Yeah, it could use a longer antenna for sure. Now look at this radio. Look how tall that radio is, five inch. You think you'd at least have a 15 inch antenna, at least. But no, eight inches, that's all you get. <laughs> uh, headphone jack, it's almost like part of the top there, you'd miss it if you didn't see that. Um, headphone experience, it's actually pretty good. This is an FM stereo radio. Did not say that at the beginning because I wanted to surprise you guys. FM stereo, uh, it sounds very good with headphones um, on FM. A lot of bass, a lot of mids. It did say heavy bass on the box, but uh, definitely a good listening experience for music and decent experience on the AM band. I liked it. So for both, very pleasing to listen to with headphones. Awesome. Back of the radio, we have a little sticker here. It talks about our frequency coverages and what kind of batteries it runs on and DSP control. Can't miss out that. And of course, I'll show you the batteries real quick. Go over our FM reception report and move on to turning it on. So there you go, two AA batteries. Top battery positive is to the left. The bottom battery, the positive is to the right. There you are. Nice little hinge door, by the way, so you don't lose it. I do like that. And it fits fairly easy. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. It was really good. Being a DSP radio, I typically uh, get good results. Um, average radio gets about 48 stations and an okay to good rating, which is about two and a half stars. This one rates at a good rating, three star rating, with an average uh, found stations of 68. And when I run the preset mode, it definitely finds all 50 on FM. So very, uh, a very good radio on FM, uh, pretty impressed. It almost made the good to very good. So yeah, three star rating there. And FM selectivity, I give it a good also because it was trying very hard uh, to get those stations. It was pretty selective. If those antenna was longer, we probably would have got more. So there we go. Um, let's see, I covered that. Let's go ahead and turn it on this year, and we'll turn on the radio totter. Press hold. On. There we go. Greeted with our frequency. Turn this down a second. The one above there is my favorite. Let's put the light on. There's a one. Indicates that this is set on one preset, which is nice. Our battery level indicator, megahertz, of course, frequency, and FM. So we'll let this run for about a minute or two. I'm using a C-Crane FM transmitter 2 to transmit royalty-free music over the airwaves to this little radio so you can hear the speaker in action. So there we go, I'm using a Sony MP3 player. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this up.
It's a little neutral on the speaker itself, kind of on a tinny higher side, but it's good for news and talk, and we'll see that when we do the medium wave scan. So let me go ahead and just uh, plug in headphones here and show you. It should say stereo since we're right next to it here. So let's go ahead and yeah, see it shows ST right there. That's the light. Yes, yeah, so and now we're when you're playing through the headphones, you'll have stereo, which is really nice there, and it sounds really good by the way. Pretty impressed. So not bad to have a stereo radio for under 20 bucks. That makes me happy. <laughs> happy camper when it comes to that. So let's go ahead. Um, pretty much, yeah, you can see the presets. I have this set on one. I have some talk here. Why are you now suddenly saying it's uh, to do with works? Well, what Paul is telling us is that real faith is evidenced by work. I'm downstairs here. This was a cascading set of failures. There we go. That's a hard station to get downstairs here. But yeah, that's my new station. So yep, that's how that works. So let's go ahead and go to the AM band. So press this again. Okay, I'll show you a scan. It goes pretty quick. So you just press and hold preset. Now with the AM, I just pretty much, I only aim it like this direction. Typically it picks up most of my like, Chicago stations. Um, at night time, it's going to be a little different. Our current time now while it's searching is 10.33 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, to give you an idea where I'm at. Uh, this will pick up quite a few stations. I do notice it falls a little bit off uh, towards the top of the band, like past 1,500. I notice it gets a little weaker, especially when you start to get 1,600. It gets a little quiet, and sometimes you have to let the radio sit there and wait for the gain to increase. It's one of those slow gain things when you're up on the higher part of the band. So that's interesting. So we'll let it run this thing. We, let's see, it'll be five, 50 presets, which is cool. And then uh, we'll have that in the radio, but we'll use manual tuning. I'll show you how that works. But this is just an automatic preset. It'll go to 50. We'll be done here shortly. But yeah, pretty cool radio so far uh, for the money. I'm pretty impressed. Giving you final thoughts already. But uh, yeah, for it to have an alarm, how it works really good and runs on two AA batteries. I find that very handy. <clears throat> Excuse me, a lot of these radios nowadays, I come out two AAA batteries and I just, don't think that's acceptable. It's just not enough juice um, to get you a good long listening experience. So double A use is definitely a plus in my book. So there we go. Under Bob Mueller's watch. Okay, so it started at 560, of course, the strongest station. We're going to go down to uh, 530, which is usually a Canadian station. Let me turn off my uh, stuff here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Not hearing anything there. Just looking here on the bottom. This is WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts. I picked this up pretty strong during the day. Fifty here is uh, KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri. We're just picking them up. 
275 miles, 5,000 watts. has voted to open an impeachment investigation. WIND, so Chicago. Doesn't mean you can't argue executive privilege on some things, of course. Uh, but, and it, yes, right. right. Five seventy is WNAX, Yankton, South Dakota, four hundred and sixty miles, five thousand watts. Just kind of want to check to see what the sky wave sounds like on that same station. There we go. Yeah, same thing. Making sure in the same station, not just bleed over. Excellent. KCSP, Kansas City, Missouri, 400 miles, 5,000 watts. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles, 10,000 watts at night. Okay, that's uh, Chatham, Ontario, CFCO, uh, 310 miles, 6,000 watts, and let's uh, bring in a loop. I have it on the floor here. I don't know why it's on the floor. Let me bring this in. We're going to use the select antenna. We're going to see if we just can't get a little boost in gain. See if that affects the signal. Okay, so I think it's fighting. There's two stations fighting there. There's a religious station, I think, out of St. Louis. And then we got that one out of Canada. So there we are. Let's keep going. I think there's 640 here is Piatone. Yeah, it's WMFN Piatone, Illinois, Hispanic station, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. Okay, can't jam it, but I want to. <laughs> WSN, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles, coming in good. Hey, football fans, heading to the game this weekend? Well, don't miss kickoff because you can't find parking. Before we head to the stadium, 670 to score, WSCR, Chicago. Mobile lets you reserve parking at football stadiums across. WLW, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. So in my heart, I wish it all would have worked out for everybody. Right, of course. I love them all. WGN, Chicago. It was just like six, 2016 was just, it was awesome. Magical Okay, we got some uh, Zoomer Radio on CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I've heard it coming clearer the other day. It just uh, must be atmospheric conditions tonight. Seven fifty WSB Atlanta Georgia six hundred and thirty miles. But but Jimmy, you come from an area where people fight with each other, am I right? WGR Detroit, Michigan, two hundred and seventy miles. Cool. 
really just works for the majority party in the legislature. WABC, New York City, New York, 750 miles. And they made the conviction requirement in the Senate a tooth of sleep apnea and couldn't sleep with a CPAP. Relief and a good night's sleep is now just a click of a button. WBBM, Chicago. It's called Inspire. Inspire is a sleep apnea treat. I'm going to go a little quicker here. This is a WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Finally stop and you ask yourself, what did I just experience? And that's when it kicks in. It's a, it's a very dull thing. It really, it's a lot more dull than what you see in the movies. Uh, here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. I mean, the movies are made, and television shows are made for conflict and... And I think it's a veteran receiver that... You know, you look at the last two games, he had two catches total for nine yards. And when you have a guy like Emmanuel Sanders... Here we are in 850. This is KOA. This is Denver, Colorado. Uh, one of my farthest stations I can get is it's 890 miles. But there, there's definitely been... J'adore. Alors on va se laisser sur un autre extrait de ce nouvel album qui est Amour Bohème. Merci, Tarapointe. CGBC. Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Eight seventy is WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, eight hundred and sixty five miles. Jordana with a goal and an assist. So Flames win. WCBS, New York City, New York, 750 miles. Trying to get a little boost with the select antenna. It tends to look really good during the day. This is 900 CHML. Listening to some classic radio. I had to stop and hover on it. Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. I was going to cruise up to 990. Pretty unsteady. I don't know if it's the radio. I, let me just see if it's the radio. We're going to go to the Skyway just real quick to check 990. Because um, I wonder if it's unsteady or if it's just the radio. That's not going anywhere uh, except this uh, one. Yeah, there's some unsteadiness. Just the Skywave handles it a bit better, of course. It's being more expensive, a lot more expensive. In a time when it is so 990 here is a CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, 675 miles. Let's go up to 1020 here. Hello. 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 You hear me? <laughs> KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. So it seems like this radio gets stations pretty good out to about 500 miles as far as intensity. Personally, I listen to Jim every night at the Box Center, Wayne Theater, February 3rd. Tickets on sale now at boxcenter.org and congratulations. WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. We're just up the street. Come by, pick up your... For the Puppy Jake Foundation with our October barbecue. This Friday, October the 18th at 4 p.m. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. 1040 WHO. Says it after I say it. <laughs> I 
away. In the meantime, resident Michelle Leone is concerned about what will ultimately happen with the refinery property. What are you going to do with all that land? Uh, KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Pretty much can only be used for that. In South Philadelphia, Mike DiNardo, KYW News Radio. A federal bankruptcy... Says it. I love it. I've seen it. That's good. And it wasn't a place where a uh, long time ago uh, 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 an Indian chief said, We are going to destroy this world. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. It's because of. They communicate with us via telephone. The psychic abilities are still not working. Right KMOX, now. St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Abilities, but I don't have that right now. It's down. I've, I've been feeling a little under the weather this week. I'm feeling much better today. This is WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Go green, get green, be green. KTG, BRB, OMW, be there in a few. You may think that these kinds of texts are... Go a little quicker. WPHT trying to come through. It's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Look up to the top of the band here. As you can tell, it gets quite a few stations. More than you really need, to be honest. Did I just say more than you really need? <laughs> Somebody put me in a straight jacket, quick. <laughs> can never have too much. Never. <laughs> Shame on you, Tyler. Damn it. <laughs> I think we're picking up a little bit of KZQZ here out of St. Louis. Right, let's go up to 1510. Check your rate online today and see how much you can save at PyInsurance.com. WALC, Nashville, Tennessee. That rhymes. <laughs> Four hundred thirty-four miles. And we're gonna go right up to sixteen ten here. Sounding pretty good there. We got a Hispanic station out of Toronto, Ontario, C H H A, which is four hundred and sixty miles. If you haven't gathered that by now. We got music there on KCJJ, the mighty Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles, 1,000 watts. Let's go to the top of the band, 1,700. It's actually doing pretty good tonight. This is KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off here. Press and hold. Okay, so let's do final thoughts on the Jason RD218 Pro. Don't know what Pro is about it. Maybe because it has these extra buttons. <laughs> it has these little preset, quick presets, which I find pretty nice. Uh, for, yeah, under 20 bucks. Um, is it worth a buy? Yeah, under 20 bucks. Anything over 20 bucks? No, there's, again, a lot of cool radios you could save up for. One off the top of my head is like a Sanjin 200X. That's a great radio. That's like 39 to 40 bucks. You know, if this is like 25, save yourself some money and get the better radio. But for a cheap economy radio, you just take with you and not worry about losing. This is not bad, especially if it's on sale. I'll put some links below. Uh, sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not. Just keep checking. Uh, and then sometimes they have the coupon too, which is really handy. So yeah, under 20 bucks, give it a go. I think you'll enjoy the FM stereo. It sounds really nice with the headphones. Um, I enjoy the tuning on the FM. It's a really nice experience. Uh, the medium wave during the day is decent. And of course, you know, the evening was pretty decent as well. So I'm going to give it a recommended buy by Tonnerbird. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so there you go. If you're interested in this brand name, I'm going to look for more of this this brand. It's pretty interesting how they, you know, they're working on radios. I mean, coming out with something new. This is great. Yeah, I haven't seen one like this yet. Just hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future videos by this company. And three, comment below. We think about the Jason 218 Pro. Would be something you'd get or hey, Tonnerbird, that other radio is better. Check that one out. Just let me know. 
All right, guys, take care and thanks for watching.